All right, guys, again, sorry. Um, like I said, I was using my cell phone, and, and I got a phone call, a uh, pretty important phone call I had to take, and I cut the, cut the video short. So I guess I'll just do two parts, um, I think, uh, on this video. It's, um, you know, basically I started it just to kind of show this boker, and I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. But anyway, yeah, just to show you some of the guns that I'm going to be shooting today, uh, that's the Caltech PLR, like I was saying in the last video. I'm not sure if that got cut out or not. Uh, shoots 5.56. Uh, I do have other videos of that. I don't, I don't think I ever put them on YouTube uh, of me shooting that and everything, and a friend of mine shooting that, just because uh, it didn't, it wasn't the correct format or not that I'm not uh, that great at uh, uploading videos and stuff like that. Uh, my Sig uh, Dark Elite 226 chambered in 40 caliber. That's um, you know one of my favorite guns. I wanted that for a long time, and I actually traded in a. Uh, another 40 cal Springfield XDM for that thing just because I'm not really that crazy about the XDM if I'm gonna get a power pistol you know I'd stick with the Glock uh, 17 or even the um, 21 uh, you know the full size 40 cal um, then the uh, high point I like I, like I said I, I'm not sure if I uploaded the video but there's a video of me shooting uh, that PLR when I just got it and then this high point um, not when I just got it, but I'll video them all together. I don't think I uploaded it the, um, then, but that's nine mil nine millimeter. Can't even talk. Uh, nine millimeter um, carbine. Uh, it's a pretty neat little gun. It was like a two hundred dollar gun. You can't really beat that price. Um, then a uh, twenty two caliber gun that I I built. I custom built using an Archangel kit and a uh, Ruger ten twenty two receiver. Uh, I got the flip up sights on that, and I mean it, that's that's a badass gun right there. Matter of fact, that uh, if you can't tell that um, sight actually I painted while it was on there, so it actually belongs on there. But I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot on that gun today. Kind of sighted in, you know, the Desert Eagle 50 caliber uh, Desert Eagle that I really. Uh, enjoy shooting a lot it's just uh way too damn expensive to be shooting it all the time but um i mean that's that's a just an awesome awesome gun not very practical but badass badass pistol right there um okay so like i said in the last video um you know my new carry knife this is gonna be i'm gonna kind of oh, sorry about that i'm gonna kind of do something with this lanyard hole um, open it up a little bit if I can because it doesn't really seem like I can fit anything in there other than freaking shoelace or fishing line <laughs> uh, yeah I'm really happy with this knife though it's pretty nice pretty nice knife got the DLC coating on it diamond like coating or diamond like carb I don't know something diamond like coating I guess <laughs> pretty nice knife uh, then you seen this I made a video of this little mini EDC, the Kershaw Cryo. That's a nice knife. I like that a lot. It is a little bit heavy for its size, but I don't care. It doesn't really bother me, you know. Um, some other EDC stuff I have here. My my Cork Mini uh, 4.7s uh, flashlight. Yeah, this just does not want to zoom in properly, but like I said, I'm just using my phone. Uh, this thing is pretty neat. Uh, really bright light. Uh, and this thing I always have on me, the little, um, Streamlight Stylus Pro, which I'm thinking about getting the Stylus Pro Tech, uh, 120 lumen. This is like, uh, maybe 60 lumen, I think. Maybe not even, probably 30 or 30 lumen. Uh, the Pro Tech is a little bit larger. It's not, it's probably about the, the, the girth of this, the thickness, uh, uh, in, in its widest spots and it thins out a little bit in the middle right where this knurling is uh, it's Similar to this it's just like a probably double the size of this and it's called the pro tack Which is a little bit tactical look. It's got some spike spiked edges or sharpened up edges kind of um, around the bezel kind of like this thing here has If you could see you know a little bit of sharpened bezel for striking purposes um also at that blade show, I said I, I held that 301. I, I picked this up. Uh, it was a custom knife. Uh, I'm not sure even the guy 
that that built it, that made the knife and the sheath and all that stuff. Um, here's another little thing. This is kind of either for a flashlight or he had on here already, or a um, like a fire steel or something like that. But I put uh, a little the mini. Um, it's kind of in there really good. Ah, that's my my boot. I'm actually <laughs> have I'm a little injury I got. Uh, it's tough to do with one hand. It's a, it's a mini version of this. It's, it's in there really good, you know, that way we don't want to follow. Smaller version of this. Um, about half the lumen, half the size, you know. But I thought it was pretty neat. It came on, you know, attached here and it fit in there really well. And this is, uh, some type of a little, uh, not tech lock, but it's, um, American Sportsman products. Um, little belt clip or pocket well belt yeah it's belt clip it's pretty neat and I, I carried it a little bit a nice little coyote tan uh, kydex there but this knife I bought it off some guy he was selling it for somebody else that made it I did a little bit of uh, customizing to it myself kind of put a little bit of a swedge on it up here rounded it off and then um, put a little bit of extra jimping on there for up here for some uh, finer work but this is uh, 1095 carbon high carbon uh, steel so it's oiled up really good and um, it had still the grind lines on it when I got it I kind of just took a um, scotch bright pad to it and even some sandpaper to kind of roughen it up a little bit I know it does open it up more for for rusting but I mean I'll, I usually take care of my all my blades and stuff and this had like this dark wood or G10 it might have been on here and I kind of just grinded it up with my Dremel just to get a little bit better grips um, almost like a, <laughs> a really generic kind of Anzo pattern on there but I'm not really good with, with Dremel or not like that so I just I did it for some grip you know I didn't really care too much about the look of it um, has a little bit of jumping, you know, a little bit of grooves on the back end too. Not like you can really put it reverse grip. It's a small handle, but it's a nice little knife. You know, it was. Um, I like helping out new uh, new knife makers, and um, it wasn't that expensive, so I figured I'd pick it up. Um, I, I think it was a good buy. I've used it quite a bit for some uh, food prep and whatnot. I mean, it's a good slicer. It really is stays in the sheath pretty well all right now back to the uh the uh little boker plus toucan that i started this video for in the first place uh just got in the mail the other day and it's uh it's not too bad this is actually 